Live from Wave in Louisville, Kentucky. This is Listens Live. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon to you, and thanks for joining us here on Wave Listens Live. I'm your host, Brian Schlonsky. Hope you had a wonderful weekend, maybe stayed out of some of that heat. But well, we are kicking off this Monday with a fantastic show for you as we take you to the rundown now and show you the guests you can expect on the show here today. The Bedrock Group is here talking to us all about their senior solutions and the other services they provide. Louisville Parks and Recreation is back with us. They're talking about the tree canopy and a workshop that you can attend tend to give your input. But up first here today, we've got Jay Exum Group back with us talking all things real estate. We have got uh, three different folks here helping us do just that today as we bring you back here into the studio and uh, introduce you to the folks who are here, all of whom you know uh, pretty well by now, I would imagine. Jackie Exum is here with Emmett Exum as well and yes. Roxana Edwards. So good to see all three of you guys. Good to see you as well. Uh, Jackie, let's start with you. Um, we've had Emmett on the show, uh, but it's been a while, so maybe a a new introduction for him here and, yeah. and why it was important to bring him today. Yeah. Well, Emmett is with Stockton Mortgage. Mm -hmm. He is our right hand man for all things mortgage lending. And that is so important in a real estate transaction. The one thing I've learned in the you know seven or eight years of being in this industry is that the lender can be a bit of a make or break in our road to closing. And so I would say the two most common reasons that a transaction might fall out or maybe not be successful successful there's two things one inspections the buyer does inspections there are some deal breakers for them they opt to walk away that's not an uncommon scenario the second is the mortgage financing mm. the buyer has trouble obtaining their mortgage financing and the whole deal falls apart if they don't have the money to pay the seller there is no <laughs> transaction to be had and so it's so so critical to have a really strong lending team by your side and and Emmett's team is wonderful for awesome. that it's exactly where you come into to all of this now, Emmett. I think one of the things that's important to talk about, there's always trends when it comes mm -hmm. to real estate. Mm -hmm. So so right now, as we're talking about mortgage lending, what yeah. are some of the trends we're seeing? Yeah, you know, so right now, the trend is definitely getting better. Uh, which is terrific for any consumer who might be on the fence and you know we had to kind of reset our normal right you know rates kind of went up a little bit and everyone kind of got stagnant you know wasn't sure if they could afford uh, the the home purchase that they were looking for um, and so now as they've kind of come down a little bit you know they're not where we want them to be but you're not going to get that house any cheaper tomorrow than what you can buy it today and you also have the ability to refinance. And so I think it's most important that if you can afford the, the payment, right? So if you're ready to, do, to move forward, rates will take care of themselves. Buy the house, make sure you get a comfortable payment. Six months down the line, eight months down the line, wherever it ends up being, you can always refinance to get a lower payment. Yeah, an important yep. aspect yep. I think maybe a lot of people forget. Uh, yep. l let's stay with you for a second because yep. I want to talk about sellers who maybe they're looking at offers. Uh, these are coming in from buyers who use the, the mortgage financing solution. Uh, anything that they should know about if, if they're working with yeah, a lender in so, that process? So most of the time when you talk about a conventional loan, you want them to be complete right so if there are cabinet work that you're working on you want it to be finished if there's flooring that you're updating it needs to be finished um, and so it's going to be more forgiving that it doesn't have to be the most uh, up-to-date property or, as long as it's existingly there and complete and finished conventional will have no problems where you start running into uh, some potential problems with an FHA or a government type loan um, you start getting into things that would be considered unsafe okay you know broken glass uh, exposed electrical um, if there's stairs they want to have a riser so that you can safely get up and so as long as there's nothing that is going to affect the safety of it any any loan will be able you're to good with all those care. different exactly. types okay exactly well just the knowledge alone Jackie you can yeah. tell why it's important to work with with somebody like Emmett but yeah. for you guys who, who partner with all kinds of different professional organizations is this kind of up there as, as important as it gets yeah I would say the lender is almost or just as important as the two realtors that are involved in the transaction. Yeah. Like I said before, it, it's equally important to both the buyer and the seller to get to closing. And so this is one of the most critical yeah. pieces of the, of the transaction. It's all a team. Okay. It's all a team. We're all on the same team giving, going towards the same goal. Well, now that we've got everybody kind of on the knowledge side of things, it's always exciting when, when you guys bring listings with you too, because we probably have folks out there who are in the market. So Roxana, let's go to you. I, I know this is a place in Indiana we're looking at yeah. today. Yeah. Um, this home is in New Albany. Um, it is 2110 Beeler Street. 
adorable historic home that has been completely remodeled recently. Has new roof, new HVAC, this adorable little shed in the back. As you can see, brand new kitchen. Um, it's 1,408 square feet. It has three bedrooms and two baths. It's super close to the Ohio River Greenway, which is a walking and biking path that connects Clarksville, New Albany, and Jeffersonville to Louisville, um, including like the Big Four Bridge. So the location is awesome. New Albany has tons of downtown shopping and restaurants. So this is a really good listing. Um, so good that we are actually under contract on this home already. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't even need, need me today. So we're just showing off, right? Is yeah, that right? Yeah. This is some of the listings that you can find yeah. when you when you work with JX. Well, we're working through contingencies on yeah. this home. Sure. So if you're you interested, know. please give me a call okay. and we can talk cool. about yeah. it. As we said, it's not a done deal. Yeah. Right? Inspections are important. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to clear inspections and then you kind of... Make sure that the, the mortgage lenders and everything uh -huh. is in place. All okay. the things. All well, the things. Uh, besides just the professional partnerships, another aspect uh, that, that sets you guys apart and you're unique, you get involved in all types of events and, and that's no different today. We're that's talking about right. one. That's right. Yeah. We've got one coming up in July. It's Dunks for Dementia. We've mentioned this a few times on the show. We're super, super excited for this. It's on July the 18th, which is a Thursday from 4 to 7 p.m. Another one of our community partners, Pitt & Frank, is hosting this at their building. And you'll see, you, you see there all the different sponsors, including Emmett Steam okay. at Stockton Mortgage mm -hmm. involved in that. So we're raising money for the Alzheimer's Association. We are going to have bouncy castles and dunk tanks and yard games, bourbon pole, uh, food trucks it's going to be super fun like festival style we are really really excited for that and we want we invite the community to come on out it's a great time to to support a great cause get to meet some fantastic uh, professionals in, in this space and others as well so mm -hmm. we hope everybody can make it out okay less than a minute left uh, let's talk contact information because mm -hmm. you guys all shared great stuff today want to make sure we can get in touch with everyone yeah, mm -hmm. go ahead Emmett. yeah Emmett Axum at Stockton Mortgage 502-298-3527 tell them where where you do business uh, so we're so we're licensed in Indiana, Kentucky, and Florida uh, currently as uh, individual loan officers. So if you have any uh, needs in any of those states, we're happy to take care of you. You're dealing with the snowbirds now, right? Yeah. You deal with the snowbirds. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you become one here soon. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good goal to have. We all have that. And then Jackie, best best way to yes, get in touch with you guys. Five zero two 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 five three three zero three, and check us out on Facebook. We do lots of fun giveaways. We have another one coming up for July here shortly. So like our like our page. Okay, well perfect. Great to see all three of you. Thanks Thank for what you, you do each and every day. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you. See you back here Good soon. You. All right, stay with us here on Wave Listens Live. Two more great segments to go. Coming up next, we've got the Bedrock Group. You don't want to miss it. Stay with us. The Wave, Charlie Wilson's Jed Air.